Texas Republican Congressman Pat Fallon. Hello, sir. What are your constituents saying about uh, the pending end of Title 42, which is going to happen eight days from now? Well, Kennedy, you know, it would be interesting to see not only what would John Pierre do if she lost the notebook, but what, if, what would happen if she actually told the truth? That would be something that would be, uh, we haven't heard anything from, haven't heard that from her mouth since she got the job. So what my constituents are saying is they're infuriated because they know the border is wide open and, and immig illegal immigration has exploded under this administration. Kennedy, we had never had a month in our history of over 200,000 illegal border crossings. We had 10 months in a row mm -hmm. under Joe Biden, and now they're just cooking the books and saying, go to ports of entry and we won't count you. But here's a fact. Seven million people have crossed that border illegally since Joe Biden took office. There's been over 100 folks that have been on the terrorist watch list that have been apprehended. There is record fentanyl seizures, record fentanyl deaths in this country because Joe Biden has opened the border and said, come on in. And it is at an absolute just disgrace. Yeah, and, and people can see with their eyes. The NGOs are completely overrun in places like El Paso. I mean, there are no support services. And the CBP Commissioner Troy Miller is saying that if we do, in fact, see more than 10,000 encounters a day, that there is nowhere to house or process people who are coming over the border. So the message has been loud and clear. It has been received clearly in Central and South America. Come on in, because you will no longer be mm -hmm. deported uh, with a Remain in Mexico health policy. That is ending. Uh, now, so it's interesting because Corinne Jean-Pierre and Secretary Mayorkas are both saying that Congress has failed to act. Uh, hmm. What legislation have House Republicans dropped that could make this crisis better? See, that is, again, just an abject lie. First of all, they had all levers of power for two years. They had the House, they had the Senate, they had the White House, and they're the ones that didn't act. But the House Republicans are acting. We have a House border plan. Part of that plan will punish folks for overstaying their visas. We'll put real teeth in it. We'll redefine what credible fear is. And we need to also reinstitute the, the weight in Mexico policy, which was wildly successful under President Trump, which said your asylum claim will be adjudicated while you wait in Mexico. But that's not what Joe Biden wants. Again, they just want an open border. I was the first member of Congress this year to file articles of impeachment on, uh, on Alejandro Mayorkas because he has been the worst Homeland Security director we've ever had. Well, I, I don't disagree with you. I do think that he should resign. I think that uh, he has created a situation that is untenable. You know, you, you cannot continue mm -hmm. to support numbers like this and then say, you know, when you have two record-breaking years in a row in terms of encounters, you can't say it's the exact same as it was before. You know, at, at some point, we're going to mm -hmm. have to acknowledge that all of these resources are incredibly strained and the system has to change. But unfortunately, everyone who's in power is unserious about the fix. Are there Democrats you can work with to come up with legislation that, you know, if it's not going to fix immigration, at least it will do something about the border crisis that is happening right now? I think the folks, some of them anyway, like Henry Cuellar is a Democrat that understands what's really going on. And he's called uh, this administration on the carpet. That's why also, Kennedy, you've seen what's not a lot of people are talking about, which is a mass of folks are, that live on the border, American citizens of Hispanic descent, that are leaving the Democratic Party in droves and coming to the Republican Party. We had a state rep, Ryan Gian, who switched parties. Mm -hmm. We elected Monica de la Cruz in a district that's 75 percent Hispanic because they know that this is something that we can't sustain, and it has to yeah. change. President Trump got an A-plus on the border. Joe Biden gets an F. Yeah, and I hear Alec Baldwin's wife, Elaria, she is going to become a Republican and maybe run for Congress <laughs> as well. Congressman Fallon, thank you for taking the time. I do appreciate it. Kennedy, God bless. Take you care. You too. Thank you.